get some more analysis on the situation in Libya by speaking to Bilgehan Uzturk. He's a researcher at the SETA Foundation. He's joining us live from Ankara. Bilgehan Uzturk, thanks for being with us here on the News Hour. So just describe for us, if you can, the role the international community plays currently in the internal politics of Libya. Unfortunately, I can't claim that it is playing a very positive role because um, um, they are playing some sort of a role, but it is not, it is not a very thorough role. It is rather a superficial, a shallow role, and it is serving the interests of individual countries more than the interests of Libyan people. Uh, for example, uh, the, the, the obsession about elections has become the only mantra in the wider in the wider efforts towards a political solution in Libya, and everybody everybody is aware that elections will not be will not be a solution to the wider, greater, and deeper problems of Libya. But but every single actor uh, which are which are intervening in Libya is following this slogan and it is insisting uh, for this uh, for this outcome. But it is far from being able to solve the very deeper problems. And, uh, you know, um, there, are, there are discussions, there are fierce uh, power struggles within Libya, and elections, unfortunately, became an element uh, within, within, that, within that power struggle and discussions. And because of the arguments and discussions around the, around the election, uh, elections, elections will become an element of division, and also struggle, and also uh, and also um, you know uh, contestation, rather than rather than at the point where we are now. Uh, and Bill Gahan, uh, what role does Turkey have then in supporting uh, the prime minister, current prime minister, Mr. De Biba, uh, who's now said he wants to run for president? Turkey's uh, for for many years uh, following the following the footsteps uh, of international community. Uh, generally speaking, uh, Turkey is not is not deviating from that from that path. Uh, of course, Turkey is also in principle uh, supporting free and fair elections and also the wider framework. But the the, uh, the issue of uh, prime minister debate uh, is being able to run in for president is itself a contested issue within Libya. Yes, Turkey has very good relations with the government of national unity. Yes, Turkey has very good relations with Prime Minister Dibiba. And uh, theoretically speaking, um, a Prime Minister Dibiba being able to run for president and winning the elections would be serving Turkey's interests. But it is, it is also undermining the wider framework for a Libyan, Libyan political solution, which is the LPDF, Libyan Political Dialogue Forum Roadmap. And the roadmap uh, itself uh, banned the ones who were a part of government of national unity and the presidential council uh, from from running for president. Uh, this is this is actually the gen part of the general problem, as I as I mentioned earlier. Yes, we set some rules in the political solution uh, as the international community, but we allow certain actors to undermine those rules and those rules and procedures. And um, this Prime Minister debate is running for election uh, is not only the, the only one. There are worse, there are other you know, examples of uh, other actors undermining this process. And basically, international community is allowing for this. And probably uh, the, France, the, the conference in France uh, will, be, will be another example of allowing these uh, spoiling efforts. And finally, then, Bill Khan, Turkey. I mean, you've touched on this a little bit in your answers, but it, it would seem to me um, as if you're suggesting that the elections are not a good idea for right now. So, what is the the next few months looking like for Libya, then, in your opinion? Well, as everybody is lined up for you know having elections, both uh, with Libyan actors, and also in actors and international community, uh, I believe under these circumstances is not a good idea because there is no legal framework, the legitimacy is contested. Uh, and I believe under these circumstances, nothing, nothing good will come out of this kind of election. But uh, there are other reasons uh, for, for having elections in the next couple of months, as everybody is, uh, especially I'm talking about the external actors pushing for having elections, uh, it is likely that we will have some sort of an election on the 24th of December, but it will neither be fair nor in free elections. Um, to give some examples, uh, some politicians, even the prime minister of the country now, cannot even travel 
to Benghazi uh, as a prime minister and also visit other cities. And this applies to other uh, Western Tripolitanian actors too. They can't even visit other cities. They can't even campaign there. And uh, there is no assurance in the eastern and southern region uh, for the election security. Uh, so uh, we can have some sort of an election. But uh, as I said, uh, under these circumstances, the, the the results will not be will not be authentic, and it will it will create uh, further further contestation and even conflict. And um, we can we can see another scenario, such as we can have the first round of uh, presidential elections in December. We can also have parliamentary elections, and we can have the second round of the elections a couple months later. This is also another scenario and pro proposal uh, by certain actors within Libya. Okay, and uh, build your hand. If the, if, Sorry to interrupt you, Bill Johan. I do apologise. We have run out of time. I do appreciate your expertise in this area. Uh, thank you very much for being with us today.